The maximum amount of a contract that we can curr currently guarantee is $2 million. A few years back, we we're, were up, able to provide guarantees up to $5 million, but it was uh, reduced to $2 million. We're working on increasing that again to five, but uh, at this point in time, we don't really know what, that's, what the status of that is. Why did they decrease? Uh, they decided there just wasn't a need for it. And they being the feds? The feds, yeah. yeah. And to change it, would it be would it an act of legislation? Exactly, yes, that's what it is. And actually, we have a lot of organizations, the National Associative Association of Surety Bond Producers, and other uh, bonding associations that are working and advocating to increase that amount. Uh, Two million dollars these days is pretty small potatoes, but I mean, we still have a lot of need for that size of a contract, so, yeah. Thank you. Eligible industries are construction, service supply, and manufacturing. The small business must certify that the bond is not available elsewhere. You may not be on probation, parole, or barred from doing business with the federal government. And the eligibility is set by the size of the firm, and that's done by the NAICS code. And that's set by the contracting officer per the contract. As an example, in manufacturing, we go by one-year average number of employees. And all in other industries, we go by three-year average annual sales. So the business applicant, together with all of its affiliates, keep in mind that all of your affiliates are also going to be included, must be small for the primary industry that you're engaged in. There's some examples there. The three-year average annual revenues can exceed, for a general contractor, 33.5 million. Is that current right now? That's current. Yeah, that's been current for quite some time now. I don't know whether that's going to change or not, but uh, at, at present, that's what it is. And then for all your specialty trade subs, it's 14 million for three-year average sales. Now, how do you apply for SBA guarantee? Well, you can go to our website, and then you can select a bond agent to contact requesting assistance. That bond, at eight, that bond agent then forwards you a package, which includes contractor's questionnaire, work on hand schedule, that type of thing. And then they, the agent applies for the bond guarantee to us electronically. We review that information, and then we approve the bond guarantee within four days. That's what we promise within four days. It normally runs between one and two days. Once we give the guarantee, the agent then provides the bond to the contractor. And the, your agent that you contact may or may not go to the SBA for bond assistance. That bond package includes a contractor's questionnaire, which lists jobs that you've done before, what type of accounting you have, what type of bank relationship you have. They'll ask for a personal financial statement, and that's not combined with your business. They'll ask for three years worth of financial statements. If you don't have financial statements, we go with tax returns. We'll want to know what the bank relationship is. We'll ask for a work on hand schedule. We want to know what you've got going right now. They'll ask for completed job references. Again, we want to know what type of work you've done before. And then if you've got a startup company, we'll look for resumes. We'll want to see who you work for, what size jobs you've done. And then they'll ask for that infamous general indemnity agreement. That's the form that states if the surety company sustains a loss, they're going back at you to, to gain back the money that they've spent. We only have a few SBA forms, the Form 994B, that's done for every single bond guarantee request, and then the SBA Form 912, that's a one-time form, it's a statement of personal history, talks about whether you've had any felonies, any kind of problems like that, whether you're a U.S. citizen, one-time form, one-page form, and then the GIA. <coughs> okay, down. Oops. Okay, common reasons applications are denied. You don't have any working capital, inadequate working capital, deficit working capital, and you do not have a bank line. That's a tough one. You've got a poor past performance record. You've had losses, claims, and other jobs. You don't provide a complete submission. That's probably the worst thing that happens with us. We have to keep asking for information over and over again. Complete submissions are the best. You don't qualify as a small business. Your sales are $50 million over the past three years. Don't qualify. You're asking for a contract that exceeds $2 million. We can't do that. Uh, if you initially request a guarantee, say, for 1.9, and you got some change, over, change orders to take you up to 3.0, oh, you're OK. But the initial contract needs to start at $2 million or less. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
<clears throat> or you make a submission for an in ineligible type of bond. We don't do license bonds, we don't do subdivision financial guarantee bonds, but we do do timber sale bonds. So as a summary, how to maximize your bond credit, find a good full-time professional bond agent, be thorough in your, your application, get pre-qualified in advance, can't stress that enough, retain profits in your firm, because that's what everybody's going to be looking for. Get as good quality financial statements as you can afford. Now, a lot of these systems online now, you have your QuickBooks, those are fine. Uh, if you're wanting jobs, say, under 500000 no problem with QuickBooks. If you want anything that's above a million, you're probably going to be looking for a CPA comp statement, something like that. And then if you're getting up to one and a half, two, maybe a review at year end. But again, go ahead and get a good credit with your bank and suppliers and pa document your past contract performance to build up your bond credit. There's our website if you have any questions. We represent the Southern and Western United States. Tom Eubank is the director there, and I'm head of the marketing. If you need information on all aspects of bonding, I think that's the Surety Insurance Organization. I believe that's what that is. Uh, they have free or minimal cost CDs and brochures. 